What's going on, on YouTube? Minor vlog. Um, I don't know if anyone's home. Hello. 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 Nobody. Nobody's home. I am just alone. I'm home alone. I'm going home alone. Home alone. Um, going to the mall. Gonna get food. Kind of bored, but uh, oh well. I was also sh uh, what was it? I took a picture. No picture. Yeah, I took a picture on of my new fit of the day. Ooh, mail. Did I get mail? Mom, dad, mom, mom, mom. Oh, sister. Eh, no mail from me. Oh well. Oh yeah, I'm trying to sell this amp because I don't have a guitar anymore and I don't really like it. <laughs> There's no point in having an amp if you came and play guitar. And I did, oh, yeah, I didn't finish this. Okay, now hopefully I'll probably get this on film if the fucking mouse is here. This mouse, he's gonna, he's gonna squawk a little bit. Maybe? No? Come on out, you bitch. Where are you? You're here probably somewhere. Just, why should I drop the camera? If I, if I, I might drop, probably drop this camera. But there's a mouse here. And what's scary and what's kind of weird is the fact that my dad thinks of it as a pet. Like in the Philippines, we have a pet bat. Like literally a pet bat. You don't really see that all the time in your fucking neighborhood. You don't see a pet bat. And you know, cause we have like three floors. Yeah, in the Philippines in our house. It's like a big ass house, but like everything's dirty and dusty. So in the third floor, we have to. You have, it's like those like staircases where you have to like walk, like go up, like circle wise. Like that. So, I went up and I heard like this screech. Like this like... <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is that noise? So I kept going up and I saw a fucking bat. So, that's how I know my dad's... <laughs> he calls he calls like the house animals and rodents. Anything in the house. Like insects or pets. My The, the, the mouse downstairs is a pet. The... I don't know. Stray cat is a pet. I don't know. I mean... My dad... Thinks of like a lot of different things, but this is my outfit. Just uh, wearing, and uh, I didn't make a fitted today. Got my foxtail going on. Uh, can you see that? Wait, let me just turn it around. Can you see that? Got a foxtail going on. I got a tail, bitches. Um, but I'm just gonna head out, go to the mall, get food, get food. Um, where is this? Uh, oh yeah. For the Sabrina thing, because I'm going like, to go to that thing in July 29th. It's the day before my birthday. I'm going to turn 30. What the hell? I'm going to turn 20. It's crazy. I don't even look 20. But, um, hold on. Hey, where's my fucking phone? Oh. Um, I was listening to some G-Park. I like the party song. I downloaded it on my iPhone. Okay. What was it? Oh, yeah, and there was this guy on my... On kick, he kicked me, and he was saying like how I'm bragging or boasting about being a you. Oh, what the fuck? I hit my camera. About being a YouTube partner. Here's the thing. I have made videos since 2007, and I kept applying to become a YouTube partner. Now I know a lot of people out there can be YouTube partners nowadays because YouTube's rules has changed. I think everyone can be a YouTube partner nowadays, but the feeling back then was so much better than how it is now because. When you, like, kept, keep making videos, like for me, when I was making videos, um, back in 2007, and, uh, I didn't, I kept trying to, uh, get partnered, I kept trying, and I couldn't because most of the videos I had was copyrighted. So, uh, what I did was I deleted most of the videos and I tried to make vlogs and everything so it's much more easier. Uh, and in 2010, I think, no, because I was been, I've been on YouTube since 2007, so, Three years later, fast forward this three years later, I had a chance to become a YouTube partner. They messaged me through YouTube to become one. It's not like I'm like just being a YouTube partner for the hell of it, but because uh, my main channel was a partner and then my other channels before, they weren't ever a partner. Um, my fashion channel is partnered, my news channel is partnered, like, because everything, the rules change for YouTube. So everyone probably can, I think, yeah, they can be a YouTube partner. Um, and then this guy on my kick, he said, like, 
why are you bragging so much about it? Why are you just making it openly? Like, I don't say I'm a YouTube partner for the hell of it. I mean, if people want to ask me, because I, I get some comments in my fashion channel saying that, are you a YouTube partner? Do you get paid from YouTube? Uh, yes, that's that's the whole thing about YouTube. And I'm not, I'm not going to say like, oh my god, I'm a YouTube partner. I'm getting these money shit. I'm stacking. Like, no, no. And a lot of people out there don't even realize it. Like, boasting, bragging, there's no point in you doing that because it's just stupid. Um, and I don't understand why this viewer, commentator, this kick messenger, John Ta, for some fucking reason, is just like, why are you like boasting about it openly? I don't say shit about being a YouTube partner all the time, guys. I don't. All I do is I state that I am. And I show you. I even showed you guys. So, no matter what, I mean, I guess haters gonna hate, but whatever the case may be. And he's just saying the rules change, and I get that. Rules changed. Rules did change. But the feeling I got when I was a YouTube partner in 2010 was like the best feeling I've ever got. Because my goal on YouTube was to become a YouTube partner. And after, since that like thing happened in 2010, that feeling is much more better than nowadays. Because nowadays, anyone can probably become a YouTube partner. All they gotta do is sign up, and they gotta go through this listing shit and they're already like bam a YouTube partner and that's not a good feeling like you wanna you wanna earn your way through this you wanna you don't wanna just like be like okay I'm gonna sign up and that's like easy like hell like that's not good at all like the feeling of how you become a YouTube partner is so, it should it should have been um, the way that I explained it back in the past like everyone was not you really a YouTube partner you, you only had to be only certain people can be YouTube partners Certain types of people, like not race, not racial wise, but like I'm just saying, like the views and subscriber wise. Before they did the subscriber thing, and now they changed it over the course of like a year or two. And then I was reading a YouTube comment and in a, a video saying that the whole thing changed. And yeah, I mean YouTube changed like dramatically. I mean the team changed, the the equality changed on YouTube, like. It used to be only 480, it used to be just the basic 240p quality, and then it became 360 standard, and then 480 high quality. I remember they had the HQ button only. They didn't know, they didn't have no HD quality video. YouTube was still trying to get that in. And then I think in 2007, 2008, they changed it to make it, they changed a lot of things, and they said they uh, put in HD finally, like 720p, and then over the course of a year to two, three years, then they had like, uh, 1080p YouTube is changing guys YouTube is changing like for good and bad because a lot of the things that are changing on YouTube is just like what the hell's going on with YouTube is like giving they're giving a lot of opportunities to people that I think is good but I mean the feeling of you when you become a YouTube partner nowadays it just it feels shitty really it's like well, well, like what would you say like you would be happy that you guys being a YouTube partner but on the other hand you just got it like that. Like, it's, it, there's, like, no goal. Like, there's no freaking much effort to put in for. And for me, I have to keep making videos. That's what I want to do. I mean, I love this YouTube thing. I love to make videos, vlogs, and shit, and all this other stuff. And it's kind of, it's kind of, not stressful, but it's, it's, it's awesome to keep up with my channels. Like, I have the vlog channel, the fashion channel, the news channel, the gaming channel. Without the fashion channel, I wouldn't have been uh, featured on the Ology campaign team leader website. I wouldn't be one without you guys. I wouldn't be one. And that's the plain truth. And a lot of people out there take it for granted. But every single time that I've been making videos, every single day that I've been making videos, I appreciate it. Because when I get questions and I get uh, replies and everything from people that want to know opinions about my knowledge or some of that or I give my opinion on something and it's cool to network with other people around the world it doesn't really matter where you are you could be from the United States and they can be from uh, Hong Kong or they could be from South Korea it doesn't really matter where but it's a really good feeling and it's really hot whenever I walk upstairs it's hot as fuck when I ever walk downstairs it's cold as fuck oh but it's hard, it's hard holding a camera the whole time but yeah it's a long ass video but anyways I'm gonna go to the mall and uh, get some food and hopefully you guys had a good uh, Wednesday. Mine's okay. I'm just chilling. And I gotta make this fit of the day for my fashion channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Ah, peace.
Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just got back from the mall. It is 10.58 p.m. right now. And I'm just back home. Making you guys this video. What the hell? Oh, that's uh, for the other job. Let me just get my change out. What the hell? So many fucking paper. Alright. Um, what the hell? I did so much fucking shit. Anyways. Did I get everything? I think I did. Let me just get the quarters out. I don't know about you, but I take the quarters out from the thing. The thingy, my bobber, or, or something. What is it called? I don't know. I just take quarters. And I, I put it in this, like, little uh, container. Remember the Yogu? The Yogu uh, bottle? I put all my quarters in this shit. I don't know. I did it is better. It's just like a cleaner. Yeah, alright. Let me just put this back. But yeah, I just got back from home. I was at a... Uh, let me just take my shoes off. Ow! I got back from Target. I was at the mall the whole day. I got there at like 4 o'clock p.m. I believe. I think it was 4. I think so. I think it was 4 o'clock p.m. It's like putting my uh, sneaker thing inside so it doesn't have the creases anymore. Uh, it's kind of crazy how the year goes by too. Because some of my friends are leaving to go to different colleges. Some of them are going to the army. Some of them are going to the navy. It's pretty crazy. That's just how life is. Everybody changes. Everything changes. Reality hits, pretty much. Okay, um... Yeah, I don't need this. Put belt off. Let's put this away. But yeah. Okay. Um... Hopefully you guys had a good, uh, Wednesday. Thursday is gonna be pretty interesting, because I got an interview tomorrow. I have to wake up early, so I'm trying to make as much videos as I can possibly. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I got this. Kicks. Um, when I was a kid, I actually... I had this a long time ago when I was a kid, and after I finished the whole box, my mom never bought me this cereal anymore. So, I went to Target, and I actually was looking for this cereal because it just hit me like, go get the cereal that you had when you were a kid. Because I only had this cereal when I was a kid. And as I got older, like 19, like fucking like 12, 13, 15 years later or something like that, I wanted to get it again. So I found it. I didn't even know they still made this cereal brand because back then it was a much more different. Like the way it looked, uh, it was much, much different. But I actually bought this because of the fact that I, it reminded me of my childhood. And yeah, I was just like, Okay, I'm gonna find this shit, and it was pretty awesome, so I got kicks. I just opened the box. Let me see if it tastes the same, too. I don't know if it tastes the same as it was when I was a kid. I still remember the taste. It probably is the same, I don't really know. Let me just open this. Alright, let me get one piece. Yeah, I think it... It tastes a little bit change. The taste change. Back then it was so much more sweeter. Oh well, but it is a corn um kicks. But dust off the shit. Let me put this away. Okay. Um Oh yeah, shout out to Diane and uh, Mary. I just met her at the mall. Uh, sorry I didn't really vlog the whole day, guys, but I'm just vlogging mostly in my room. Because uh, that's what I do. Uh, so, what happened today is that I was at the mall uh, eating some sushi, uh, chilling, making videos. Well, I mean, right now I'm making videos, but I was at the mall, and uh, what else happened? I just met some of my old friends. Shout out to Justin. Shout out to Tyler. I uh, met your boyfriend. <laughs> pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, I don't even know if she watches my videos. But that's just what it is. And I got a, another Baskin Robbins card. I bought like a smoothie. And they know me. So I keep getting these shits. Um, what else? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wasted so much money. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got thirty-one dollars left. Out of the hundred I had the whole week, hundred forty. Damn, I've been wasting money like fucking like water. Uh, oh well. 
That's what happens when you freaking waste so much money. You lose money. And I got a tweezer, bitches. I tweezed the fucking hairs from my, um, my beard. Because sometimes when I shave, it just doesn't shave all of it off. I'm trying, I was still trying to find that rat. Fucking rat. Come downstairs. Got my foxtail, bitches. Let me put this away. Uh, put that over here. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, and I met um another girl at uh at Nike Factory. She was pretty cute. Uh, lo her name's Lauren. Shout out to Lauren if she watches if she ever watches this video. She was Filipino. Um, she was pretty cute. I said hi. I, I was so surprised that I got like so like I would have to say I have confidence now than I did before way before way 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 before um but shout out to Lauren she probably will never see this video but I mean just in case if she does uh wait yeah, I'll put this away too my jean chain one of my viewers on my fashion channel he wanted to know how I made this um it's not that complicated you just need to like get this hook hooky thingy a jean wallet a, a a wallet chain and some keys and keychains and all that shit and combine it together. That's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me just put this right here. Oh shit. Um, can you just hold? Yeah, it's holding. Put this coin thingy, coin pouch away. Okay. Oh shit. That's not gonna hold. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> um, what else happened? Wait, what the hell is going on? Oh, okay, okay, there we go. That's perfect. Uh, what else happened today? I don't remember. But I was also watching my friend's videos on YouTube. Check her out, Chelsea Sue. That's her name. Uh, I was watching a lot of shit on YouTube. Hobson got 1 million likes on um, Facebook, I think, or was it something else? It's pretty cool. And I was still posting on my Ology website. Uh, hopefully you guys had a good one. Mine's so boring and tedious. I'm still making videos. I have so many videos to make because I get a lot of yeah, got a lot of questions to uh, to answer. It was oh yeah, it's surprising how like YouTube haters they think I care <laughs> about their opinions. It's hilarious. I get hater comments. Here and there, but I don't really give a shit because I'm gonna still do whatever the fuck I want to do. Um, shout out to who was it? Somebody messaged me. It was on my channel. So many fucking questions. It's like fucking insane, bros. Insane. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking crazy ass bitch. God damn. Shout out to Always Fresh Stoner. I just read his comment. He says, Thanks, I have been watching you for a long ass time. And me and you have so many things in common. Snapback shoes and we almost look alike, but I'm half Mexican though. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, okay. But anyways, hopefully you guys had a good one. It's already it's 11:07 p.m. right now, and I have to I have to combine two videos together because uh, I changed the outlook on how I looked before. I don't know why. Oh yeah, and shout out to Lauren for the hookup, like careers for the job. It's crazy. Oh oh, what what else was it gonna happen? I don't know. I forgot a lot of shit. Seriously, I forgot a lot of shit that I was gonna do. Let me close this. I don't, Audacity. Steam. I should I should be finished with the fucking Mark of the Ninja gameplay, but I didn't finish it yet, so I'm gonna have to finish that. What else? I still have to upload the videos too. I'm only on I'm part on yeah. I'm on part seven, but I don't really know how long the game is because it might take like 12 hours or so. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's check Twitter. Ooh, Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh, she followed. I follow. Okay. Um, someone messaged me on Twitter. Oh, please don't be spam. It is spam. Goddamn you, Hiray. With your spam and shit. Stop spamming me. Fuck. 
I hate getting spammed so much. I fucking hate getting spammed all the time on my Twitter. Don't you guys hate that when you get spammed randomly and you don't even know who it's from and you just want to like, fucking delete it? I fucking hate that shit. The fuck out of here. I curse a lot. I do. I don't know why. I can't help myself sometimes when I curse. I just curse because it's so much more better to, t to, to release that, like, uh, words. <laughs> words. Fuck. Shit. But. But's not really a curse word, but. <laughs> oh well. Let me check on some other things on my channel. In instead of my fashion channel, let me check on something else. I got a message from two people. I have to work on my gaming channel. I really, I really have to work on my gaming channel. I, uh, I've been slacking. I don't like slacking. I fucking hate it when I slack off. But at least I'm making a video. Uh, oh shit. I didn't mean to click that. Fuck. Oh well. Anyways. Um, how long is this fucking video? Holy shit, there's 11 minutes. I didn't even know that was long. But, uh, I have to upload this vlog. I have to render it and shit. And I have to put this away. This jean jacket. What's inside this? Nothing? There's nothing? Really? There's nothing? Did I put anything in the left pocket? No? Okay, I didn't put anything in the left pocket. M A O. if you're wondering about the brand. M-A-O. I don't even know what that is. I got it from against a lot. So, yeah. Put this shit away. Da -da -da -da. I don't fuck. I think everybody's left. I don't like the car, there's cars in the house, but there's nobody in the house. Like, what the fuck is going on? Is it is like aliens taking over? What the fuck? Oh shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh shit. I only have seven denim vests right now. Jean vest. I don't I call them jean. I call them denim vest. I don't know why. Some people call it jean vest, but I prefer to call it denim vest. Another. Oh yeah, and I got a message from a hater. He kicked me. I don't give a shit about you, brah. You can comment as much as you fucking want. I'm not gonna care. Um. Let's see. Do you guys usually just like check your Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter? Woo! Gina Darling. She's fucking cool as fuck. Got three new hearts. I call them hearts, but people call it likes. Uh, let me check on something. Because I'm like, because the ology thing, I'm still doing it. I've only, this is my first fit for, um, I don't know why, it started Monday, right? Yeah, Monday, Tuesday. When, wait, did I miss a day? Did I fucking miss a day? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't fucking remember. Hmm. This is number 85, FOTD. 6, 7, okay. Yeah, I don't know what else to do, guys. I'm just so bored. Sorry if this, bore, this is a boring-ass vlog, but I'm just chilling like a villain. Man, no pillin', because I don't do drugs. And this bitch. Um... Let me charge my phone. It's only 79%, but I wanna... I have, like, some OCD shit when it has to come to, like, battery percentage. Like, it has to be 100. It can never be lower. I mean, it can, but... It, I usually just charge it. After... If it ever hits 50%, then I have to... It's like my... Like, thing. My mind tells me, like, charge it. Charge the fuck out of it. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys had a better Wednesday. So technically speaking, I would have been. What do you call it? No, it's, that's not it. Never mind. I forgot it. Ooh, let me put the camera down. Hi guys. Um. It got it got me thinking though. Like, since it's wait, July, what again? I forgot. Sixteenth, seventeenth, July seventeenth. Thirteen more days until my birthday. Well, I mean, until I hit twelve, then it's gonna be twelve more days. So crazy, crazy boys. I'm pretty psyched. I'm not really psyched about it. Like, do you ever get psyched about your birthday? I mean, you pro you guys are probably like young, like 14, 15, 16. But like, when you're an adult and you just age another like year, 
all you think about is just like you're getting older and you're getting old. Like everybody always says like, I'm getting old or something like that. Like I don't know why people feel down so much about like getting older. You're gonna get older regardless. That's how life is. You're gonna fucking grow older. Like there's nothing you can change about it. You're gonna fucking get older. You're gonna be 15, you're gonna go on 16. You're 19, you're gonna go on 20, like me. You're gonna be 34, you're gonna be 35 next year. Be happy. I think that's why a lot of people out there just don't really put some goals in the in their day. They don't really like set some goals. Like in a day, you can do so much in a day, but people just don't realize what they're gonna do. Even if you can't travel and you can't like go out as much, you can still do a lot of shit at home. Well, for me, like my like two cents on this is like you can either if you're home and you're bored, you can either like make YouTube videos play some video games the thing about in my view YouTube is the fact that when you upload a video you will remember that whole thing you were talking about like right now I'm talking and I can just replay this shit over and over again but I think that's a great thing about YouTube like cuz every every single video that I've made every single vlog is like a diary like a, a diary entry every single day of my life like I put in this amount of time for this vlog and then when I upload the vlog it's not put to to waste it's still gonna be there regardless unless youtube is gonna like go out of like business or something or like they're not gonna have up youtube anymore and it's gonna change to a different website i wouldn't know because youtube is still youtube and it's been there since like 2005 so oh yeah it was pretty crazy how this whole whole how the years went by and for me i was just so regretful about not doing youtube shit when i was in 8th grade, 7th grade, and it took me 3 to 4 years to realize I wanted to keep making videos. And then I recently did, and then it's pretty cool. I love I love interacting and shit and talking and all that good stuff. But yeah, um, I want to ask you guys and girls a question. Why do you like to watch YouTube videos? Is it the fact like you want to be entertained? You want to be um, not bored too much unless it's like interesting? Uh... What else? I forgot. I really forgot. <laughs> um, but I just make the video. I just make vlogs because of the fact that I like to look back at like my past and I like to look back at like what I even said before. And it was just it's just hilarious when I watch my old vlogs I made. It was free, it was really stupid because I didn't really have an HD camera and I used my iTouch at the time. Yeah, the first time I used the iTouch and then I used the Sony Bloggy and now I use this camera because this camera is fucking awesome. Even though like this is an old ass camera, it's still pretty good. It has it shoots full HD quality. It's perfect for vlogs and editing and whatever the case may be. Anything else? It's pretty awesome. And I love the fact that I put in a light, so there's more light, so you guys can see me better. The lighting is awesome. Why did I never think of that fucking idea with the lamp? I'm so fucking slow. But yeah, shout out to Mary from The Zeagle. I think that's how you pronounce the store name. And Diane, who's working there. I swear, that woman, there was a woman in The Zeagle that took a fucking long ass time. Like, I didn't, like, I know girls are picky and shit when it comes to buying. Like, not all girls, but some girls. And this woman was, like, so picky as fuck. Like, in my view, when it, com when it comes to us guys. Some 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 guys I would have to say are very picky like me, cause I don't I go to a store I check out what's what they have to offer if I like something I'll buy it if I don't like anything I just leave. Um, but first you should really just like think when before you enter the store like when you take like an eye glance at the store inside the store just take an eye glance and if you see anything you like and you actually are gonna purchase it purchase it, cause I know there, there was this woman. And I think she was shoplifting. Um, Cause she, there's no limit to how much stuff you can bring in the fitting room. But she had this amount of clothing. Like, like, racks and shit. And she left with like this much left. Like, what? And she had an empty Louis Vuitton bag. Why the fuck would you enter the store and not even have anything in the bag? Like, I would understand if it was like a purse. Or some, like, nail clipper. Or like, lotion or whatever. But... Like, literally, this woman had a Louis Vuitton bag, and there was literally nothing. She put the bag down, like, you can clearly see it, and there's nothing in that bag. It's empty. Empty as fuck. 
And then she comes out. I, I really think she just took shit, so. And my friends worked for that store, and I, well, I backed them up. So, yeah. Um, but hopefully, I guess, it's just gonna change. It's so crazy how this world works nowadays. It just, it just fucked up. Like, every everybody out there watching this video, I'm gonna give you some two cents to help you. One, nobody will give a shit about you as much. And two, try your best, your best to be happy. Just try your best. Doesn't, like, whether it be going to school, getting a degree, making videos, going out with your friends, hanging out. Just make the best out of your life because you don't really realize when it's going to end like that. You'd never know. Like, I've been in near-death accident, <laughs> like, near-death accident and experience. It's pretty fucking crazy. But, because I almost, at first I almost got ran over. I almost got ran over by this black girl. This black woman. I was like scared as fuck. Because she was fucking like turning. And my foot was like right. Like it was like so close. My foot was like right there. And she swerved. So I'm like. I could have broke that leg. Or broke my foot. And she could have ran me over again. <laughs> Another one is like. On top of like a building. And you look down at like the height level. And I was. I was pushed a little bit. And I almost like fell. Like literally fell. Fucking. Scary as fuck, cause I'm scared of heights, so I was just fucking like queasy. I was quivering and squeezy as fuck inside. I was just like, what the fuck? Like for me, cause I'm scared of heights. If you if I look down at something, like if it's really like tall or height, lengthwise, I look down, my legs cringe, my like, cringe, cringe, and my body like what the fuck, like, yeah, like that. It's kind of like the same thing when a pe when a person like gets their nails and scratch on a, on a chalkboard, like that feeling you get. I don't know why. But anyways, um, comment, rate, subscribe, favorite the video, share with your friends, give the video a like, check out my links down below, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for the next vlog. I'll let you guys know how the interview went tomorrow, and yeah, peace.